whole thing. This is cheating. Deal's off. <laughs> Buddy, you think you look strong? You're wearing a cape. Oi. What have you done? Scorched earth. Hey guys, what's happening? Niat here with Film and Comics Explained, and as requested, today we're diving back into the boys. A cross between Captain America, Winter Soldier, and Havoc, Soldier Boy is a major character in Season 3, revealed to be America's first superhero. Born poor on the mean streets of South Philadelphia, he learned the values of hard work, tenacity, and bravery. He was born in South Philadelphia, Pennsylvania in 1919 and given the name Ben. The official backstory by Vought was that he grew up poor. In reality, Ben was the son of a wealthy man that owned half the steel mills in the state. After flunking out of boarding school, his father called him a disappointment and told him that he was unworthy to carry on the family name. Exploiting his father's connections, in 1944, he got himself dosed with Dr. Frederick Voigt's field-tested version of Compound V, becoming America's first superhero. But due to how much he was now worth to the company, Voigt used him for war propaganda, instead of actually letting him fight in the war. His father was not impressed and disdainfully told him that he had taken a shortcut, and that a real man wouldn't have cheated the way he did. Following the end of World War II, he continued as a superhero with Vought for decades. Along with Stormfront during her time as Liberty, he founded Herogasm in 1952. This spiral would continue, and during the 1960s and 70s, Vought sent him to suppress riots, attack anti-war demonstrators, as well as civil rights activists. He became the leader of the superhero team Payback, where he supposedly fought crime alongside Crimson Countess, Gunpowder, Swatto, Mindstorm, Black Noir, and the TNT Twins. Payback. <laughs> What a bunch of f***ing wingers. In the fall of 1980, Vogelbaum called him into a lab and asked him to produce his sperm into a cup so that they could study his genetics. Unbeknownst to Soldier Boy, Vogelbaum used his sperm to create Homelander. As the leader of Payback, Soldier Boy was an arrogant, macho, violent, reckless, womanizing bully that was physically and emotionally abusive to anyone who disagreed with him. He had no worries with using his status and power to intimidate and manipulate others, and used Black Noir as his primary punching bag. During the 80s, he came across a group trying to boost a Benz. Completely disregarding human life, when the suspects attempted to flee, he threw the car into a nearby house owned by the Milk family, killing Louis, Walter, and Lucy in the process. The entire incident was witnessed by Mother's Milk, who was only a boy at the time, fueling his quest for revenge. There was a ruckus outside. I looked out the window, and it was Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy takes the Benz, hurls it through our house like a fucking freight train. In 83, he starred in the classic film Red Thunder and flirted with a music career. If you want to be happy, living a king's life, never make a pretty woman your wife. The following year, he was involved in an anti-drug campaign approved by the Vought Council. Even Ben was not oblivious to the irony and hypocrisy of an addict telling others to say no to drugs. So when someone offers you drugs, you tell them Soldier Boy said taking drugs is not cool and anyone who does is a loser. The following year, he and Payback participated in Operation Charlie with Lieutenant Army Colonel Grace Mallory and her team. The clandestine CIA operation was funded by illegal cocaine trafficking and sought to back the right-wing Nicaraguan Contras against the communist Soviet-backed Sandinistas. Due to Swato's carelessness, the Sandinistas and their Soviet allies were able to launch a surprise attack on the base, and because of Payback's incompetence and lack of training, over a hundred of Mallory's soldiers were killed, and the Soviets were able to neutralize and capture Soldier Boy, or so we were told. Despite appearing as a unified team, Soldier Boy was hated by the other members of Payback. He sabotaged their efforts to advance their careers and would frequently abuse them. You're not a movie star. You're not shit. I see you getting out of line again, trying to move on up. I will put you in the fucking ground. 
Luckily for them, Stan Edgar would approach Noir and tell him that they felt it was time to retire Soldier Boy, as Vought had created a child thought to be more powerful. Soldier Boy was then betrayed by his teammates, who, despite having the shit kicked out of them, were able to knock him out with gas and hand him over to the Russians. The company covered up his disappearance and told everyone that he died a hero, sacrificing himself to stop a nuclear meltdown in Ohio. He found the love of a good woman, which made his sacrifice all the more noble when he gave his life, saving us from a nuclear holocaust. What no one knew was that the Russians would now begin over 40 years of cruel experiments on it to find whether or not he could be killed. Two years into the experiments, a scientist noted that Soldier Boy had extremely durable skin. He'd also been bombarded with ionizing radiation. 20 sieverts of radiation, sulfuric acid cocktails, more or less shoved Chernobyl right up his ass. Soldier Boy began exuding high levels of radiation as a result of the procedure. One of the idiots also wanted to see if Soldier Boy's eyes were as durable as the rest of his body, prompting him to rip off his restraints and kill him. He tried to escape, but was knocked unconscious when the Soviets flooded the room with Novichok, his only weakness. I don't think I see the point, Stan. The point is, what we are, really, is a pharmaceutical company, and you are not our most valuable asset. After being found by the boys in Russia, he would embark on a mission of revenge. He and the boys strike up an important deal. They will help him kill everyone that betrayed him, and in return, he will aid them in killing the dreaded Homelander. When Oppenheimer was flailing with the bomb, Dr. Vault already had practical applications of Compound B. Heroes like Soldier Boy killing Germans by the dozen. Soldier Boy was the most powerful superhero before Homelander, and is the only person that scares the psychopath. A true testament to his strength was his ability to match Homelander in a brutal hand-to-hand -hand brawl. He legit catches Homelander's fists and throws him around like a ragdoll. Following this, his son went on to say that his evaluation of Soldier Boy's strength concerned him. This is probably why he pulled the son and grandson unification card to avoid having to fight him again, like the coward he truly is. Soldier Boy's strength is matched by his superhuman speed and reflexes, as demonstrated in all of his physical encounters. His skin and internal tissues are durable enough to withstand assault rifle rounds at point blank range, burning, and even cutting by power saws. He is the only person to take on punishing attacks from Homelander, with no visible wounds or signs of injury. And during his subsequent fight against the boys, when they decided to go back on their word of killing Homelander at all costs, he handled multiple heat vision attacks. While in confinement, he was forced to ingest sulfuric acid cocktails, and his body was found to be immune to halothane gas. Novichok, one of the most dangerous toxins in the world, is the only thing that can contain him, but even that is a stopgap measure. Novichok, Russian nerve agent. Expose you want to Novichok, our nervous system shuts down, multiple organs fail, painful death. But for Soldier Boy, it's a nap. He also has radiation immunity, which is a necessity when your body's a nuclear reactor. While tentative at best, Soldier Boy has shown some psionic resistance, and despite having been born in 1919, the 103-year-old hasn't aged since World War II, with the appearance and the health of an athlete in their peak. The ones that, that survived are done. They're powerless. Soldier Boy fried the V right out of their blood somehow. Maeve. After being exposed to high levels of radiation by the Russians, Soldier Boy's body appears to have started producing radiation on its own. He now emits high levels of radiation at all times, though the amount can spike based on his emotional state. I led the 116th on the Omaha Beach. I fought for this country. I fought for this country. When his PTSD is triggered, his emotional state can get out of control, causing him to release powerful radiation-infused energy blasts from his torso. The beam is incredibly destructive, vaporizing humans, reducing soups to charred corpses, and destroying buildings with ease. His blast also fries the compound V in the blood of nearby soups, rendering them powerless, even if they do survive the blast. Why are you smiling? No. Oh. 
While this power of, I guess, disempowerment works on most soups, it is unknown whether this would have the same effect on his son Homelander and grandson Ryan. You were the only one that was nearly as strong as me. Buddy, you think you look strong? You're wearing a cape. You're just a cheap f***ing knockoff. A century of violence has turned Soldier Boy into a master combatant, an expert marksman, with a kill count that would make Rambo blush. Hands off the f***ing shield. <clears throat> anyway. Joining him in combat is his extremely heavy and near indestructible shield made of dense brass. While capable of taking a direct heat vision beam, it is ultimately destroyed by the combined efforts of everyone that gangs up on him at the end of Season 3. While nigh unstoppable, he does have a few weaknesses. Soldier Boy is obviously traumatized by the torture he endured for almost 40 years. One of his known triggers is a Russian song called Escape that was played while he was being experimented on. When reminded of his trauma, he's overwhelmed and tends to lose control of his powers. When I came to, the damage was done. I didn't mean to hurt those people. I'm not a bad guy. His inability to control it and the wake of destruction he unintentionally causes are a great source of shame for him, revealing he had changed from the selfish douchebag he once was. In fact, despite Mother's Milk being justified for hating him for what he did in the past, Soldier Boy was shown to be one of the most honorable people this season and one of the only ones that kept his word. In the final episode, after Soldier Boy had wiped out everyone that betrayed him except for Black Noir, Homelander informs him that he'd already killed Noir for also betraying his trust. Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> Homelander tells him that he's his son, his blood, and together, no one will stand in their way. Of course, Soldier Boy isn't convinced, despite Homelander then bringing out Ryan and introducing him to his grandson. It's a shame that I've missed so much. Maybe if I'd raised you, it made you better. After telling him that he was unredeemable and a disappointment, he, Butcher and Maeve attempt to restrain Homelander. But before he can finish charging up his attack, he's hit by Ryan's heat fission. Knocking the kid unconscious, he begins charging up, aiming to blast Homelander and Ryan. Butcher gets in the way and tells him that Ryan is his wife's son and must not be harmed. Rightfully feeling betrayed, Soldier Boy attacks as everyone turns on him. Let's not forget that despite Homelander and Ryan being his blood, he was willing to honor his deal with the boys. Even as the others join the fight, he's able to dominate them all until a surge of energy enables Starlight to knock him down. As they struggle to subdue him with Novichok, refusing to be imprisoned again, he charges up a devastating blast and breaks free from their grasp. Before he explodes and kills everyone around him, Maeve heroically tackles Soldier Boy out of the window, saving them. The series concludes with an unconscious Soldier Boy in a capsule being recovered by Grace Mallory. I just have to say, the casting in the show keeps getting better. Young Edgar Mallory and Jensen Ackles as Soldier Boy are phenomenal additions to the series, and I can't wait to see what happens in Season 4. Well, that's all for today, folks. A huge thanks to everyone who requested we cover the boys. If there's anything else you guys want me to cover, please don't hesitate to ask. As always, it's been a pleasure. Niat here with Film Comics Explained. Thanks for stopping by. These people would rather die than be Soviet slaves. It's too late. Teach! Teach!